Hey, what's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Greetings. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, thank you for showing up. My name is Alan Cox. Say hello to Bill Squire, who's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. The live stream is back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. I'm happy about this. Cameras back in the room. Cameras are back. Very exciting. Um, Mary Santora is out. She is um, on the road. Where is she? Uh, in Seattle tonight? In Seattle, yeah. Laughs Comedy Club. Laughs comedy club in seattle if you're out that way you know people out that way tell them to go see her tonight if you're one of our bureau chiefs in the pacific northwest she needs the support go see her hey say hi to pound cake who's back behind the glass happy throwback thursday white people <laughs> if you'd like to call us oh my goodness that would be swell 216-578-1007 800-348-1007 uh, send me a text if you like 35192 uh, AlanCoxShow.com. If you want to watch, you can listen anywhere throughout North America on the iHeartRadio app. A uh, text from 1130 this morning. Alan, I hope you see this. I'm in a plastics class. And we were talking about hardness tests. Nice. And every five minutes, my professor was talking about major loads. <laughs> major loads. <laughs> can I take this class? <laughs> I appreciate the fact that in situations where people would otherwise require undivided attention and their focus um, be um, unmolested, that we are uh, dividing their attention and molesting their focus. So thanks for that. That's sweet. Uh, what else? Alan, I uh, was completely with you on the whole Whitney Houston should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Until? Well, because I said my contention was at Whitney Houston, it was not a question of, and I'm no purist, don't get me wrong, but in this particular class where there are so many acts who more than deserve to be in, boy, I would hate to see Whitney Houston take someone else's spot and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, simply because the question has never been about her abilities as an artist. The question for me was, uh, she has no connection to rock and roll. Uh, she didn't inspire any rock and roll bands. Uh, there weren't any rock bands covering her songs. And then this person said I was with you until I remembered that the Lemonheads, anybody remember the Lemonheads? They were primarily, no, Evan Dando was a very famous... Uh, uh, post-grunge heroin addict who had a band called the Lemonheads. Uh, did they do a cover of Mr. Robinson? They did a cover of Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson. That's right. <laughs> Here's to you, Mr. Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson. Yeah, this it was their... Confusing uh, a lot of people right now. It was their tribute to Eddie Murphy's character on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> hey, uh, nut, writ, eon, <laughs> nutrition. The Lemonheads, uh, they also... Uh, one of their big songs was called It's a Shame About Ray, but they were very well known for their cover songs. And this guy said that they covered How Will I Know. Love by song. Whitney Houston. One of my favorites. How will I know? How will I know? How will I know when she really loves me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat. So, listen, it, sure, it lends itself to that cover. My contention is simply that I would hate to see Whitney Houston take. Uh, and otherwise more than deserving acts. You're going to tell me Whitney Houston's going to take a spot from Motorhead or that she's going to be the one who keeps nine inch nails out of the I Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I just don't think that you see the bigger these picture. Are, these are, no, you don't see the bigger picture. You don't see the these bigger are, picture. No, you don't see the bigger no, picture. No, you don't see the no, bigger picture. No, you don't see the bigger picture. <laughs> these are people, <laughs> these are people who, listen, will will get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame eventually. Of course, Nine Inch Nails will be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Judas Priest will be in the Motor Hall of Fame. But it's all about eyeballs and people will, will no come one, to see Whitney. I hate to break this to you. People will come no to see one, Whitney. No one cares about Whitney You're Houston. You're wrong. In, you the, are wrong. in the context of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, doesn't matter. It's a museum. In, nope, it doesn't matter. Fine, put her in the, in the museum. Do go to the Smithsonian too. Do but... not induct her into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No, is I what I'm saying. Get, sell me on inducting her into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You tell me why she belongs alongside Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and Pearl Jam 
And you tell me why she belongs alongside those bands. Just on her and yes, iconic they're, status they're, alone. Nah, 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 nah. This is not the Icon Hall of Fame. It's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, granted, people go, well, Alan, you got hip-hop acts in there. You got blues acts. Yes, you do. But rock is inexorably tied to both blues, from which it stole liberally, and hip-hop. You had a whole genre of music in the in the aughts, you know, the whole rap rock thing. You sell me on... This is not about iconic status. Like I said, that has never been up for debate, obviously. Musical icon. Cool, right? But sell me on why she belongs shoulder to shoulder with all the bands that are in there. Because she, she could do more cocaine than anybody that's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I don't even know that that's true. And fortunately, or unfortunately rather, she's not alive to prove that. If she could get up there and just do rock after rock after... Now, you want to put her in the Rock, yeah, Hall, of the rock Hall of Fame. There you go, because she did more rocks than anyone mm -hmm. else. All right, you want to put her in the Crack Rock Hall of Fame. I just don't Absolutely. understand how, how you can say Whitney Houston doesn't belong in there, but Madonna's in there. I never like, said a, I never said Madonna belonged in there. But she's in there. But I, uh, I never but said... Madonna's more tied to rock than how musically musically madonna yeah. madonna was far more willing to take risks than whitney houston whitney houston's music all kind of sounded the same so she occupied a very specific place on american radio in american music she occupied a very specific place because she knew her limitations madonna say what you will about her she went all over the place right with mixed results some things worked some things didn't but she tried a whole bunch of different things. If Whitney Houston had spent even part of her career saying, I'm collaborating with, um, I'm, I'm doing a thing with Van Halen, right? Pick your band. She didn't even do that. Okay, well, the only thing So I you have yet to sell me how Whitney Houston belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I can't I focus on the Crack Rocks. Well, I can't tell you. I, I can't sell you on it other than the fact that because I because you are looking at this from you are looking at this from an emotional perspective. Not even that. You you from, are you love a, Whitney Houston. You said to me, how can she from a not, money perspective? You said how it's got nothing to do with money. It does. She, she will bring the eyeballs. Rock and, the will Rock. Come to see she Whitney. will. I don't know what you mean by come to see Whitney. She's dead. I don't know what you're talking about. They want to see the dresses that she wore. They want to see the stuff then that she put, put those, on stage. Then put those in the museum. You don't need to induct her into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Put her in the museum. They have exhibits all the time from mm -hmm. people who are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of okay. Fame. Well, we're discussing this, and she's not even in yet. She's just she's just a nominee. But I would say, I yes, would just I think she belongs in there. Inducted. I would I would hate to see her take a spot from someone else. Okay. Is well, what I'm saying. We beg to differ. Yeah. But we'll see. I hope she gets in, just just out of spite, just to spite you. I hope she gets in with her big poofy hair and though like I, I want to dance with somebody. Well, that's you. Video. You're a spiteful hey. person. I'm looking for the integrity of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I am I'm looking at a cause larger than I'll myself. Be the first in line you to see are, that exhibit. You are only thinking of yourself. I guess so. I'm thinking of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame experience. I'm thinking about the people who go to the museum. I stand. Who go? Why the holy f is Whitney Houston? No in here? one would say that. Yes, they when would. They would of see course Tina they Turner would. there. Of course they would. They would see Patti Labelle in there. They would see Tina uh, Turner. Patti Labelle. I don't think is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She might be. She was in a music group. I don't. I don't. I forget the music group's name, but she might be in there. I don't know. But she did the whole Lady Marmalade. Thing. She'll be in there eventually. Tina Turner only got in with her husband. Tina okay. Turner's not in as a solo artist. Okay. And she did goddamn Nutbush City Limits. I don't care what you say. That is a rock and roll song. She did John Fogarty's Proud Mary. Rock and roll song. Tina Turner has done a lot of rock and roll. She gets out there shaking her ass. She's like 80 yeah. years old, right? Is Aretha Franklin in there? I think so, I think yeah. You, you yeah. keep giving her a pass because she's, she's R&B, she's soul, whatever. But so is Whitney Houston. No, what Whitney did, Houston. How, what ranks did Aretha Franklin show during her career? What do you mean? What she had a long career. I for understand one thing. that. So what risk did she take other than she knew to stay in her lane? You got to show her some R E S P I C T, punk. <laughs> show <laughs> some R E S P I C T. I just think you're biased. I think you just don't like Whitney. I'm not biased. You you are. Trust me, Pound Cake, I probably listened to more Whitney Houston growing up than you did because my mom loved her. So among all the other albums my mom listened to, I heard a lot of Whitney Houston, and I didn't mind it. Very now, talented woman. Doesn't belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And again, I'm not on record as being a purist by any means. I usually don't. sound like one. No. When have I ever said publicly this person should not be in the rock you and said roll it a thing. couple of times about whom I, I forget but i well, know you said well then it's as good as me not saying it if you can't if it wasn't that memorable then it's as good as me and not saying it and also Janet Jackson's it. uh in there as well 
Yeah, you remember Black Cat? No. Rock and roll song. She had some rock and roll Janet songs. Jackson had a lot of rock. Yeah. I hate to... Rhythm Nation was basically a rock and roll album. Michael Jackson did a lot. Eddie Van Halen mm-hmm. did solos in, in you know. Well, I didn't put Michael Jackson in that box. I, I know Michael Jackson reached all genres. I, so I all these people you're naming me, at one point or another, put their tendrils out to rock and roll. Whitney Houston, not once. Okay. That I recall. I mean, it's not like I'm some expert on Whitney Houston. Okay. But I would hate to see them say, here's our class of 2020, Whitney Houston. And everybody cheers, because whatever, it's Whitney Houston. But would and your mom Motorhead be excited? Motorhead sitting on the side. What? Would your mom be excited about that and maybe come visit you? My mom doesn't care. Huh? She doesn't care who's she in the rock and roll. She doesn't care who, right, but she doesn't care who is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If I told my mom, Whitney Houston's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, she'd go, oh, cool. Where's that? I'd go, it's in Cleveland. That's where my mom says. It's where I live, Mom. <laughs> you never pay attention to me. I got a, I got a break. I'm going to have Cleveland Monsters tickets for you. They're playing the Rockford Ice Hogs on, uh, when, what's the date of that? That's my sheet for next week. They're playing on Friday, October the 25th at the Romo Fijo downtown. Every Friday night game is a 1-2-3 Friday. I'll tell you about that after the break. So if you want to get some hockey, I'll hook you up here. 35192. If you want to text, we'll be back after these.